Hello everyone. Today I am going to give a presentation on topic why are distributed computing systems gaining popularity. Before that, let's take a short introduction about DCS. What is DCS? A distributed computing system is basically a collection of processors interconnected by a communication network in which each processor has its own local memory and other peripherals and the communication between any two processors of the system takes place by the message passing over the communication network. Distributed computing system is also known as a loosely coupled system because processor don't share the memory and each processor has its own local memory. The examples of the distributed computing systems are telecommunication networks, www that is world wide web, banking systems etc. DCS is more complex and difficult to build because to being capable of managing a large number of distributed resources, system softwares which are capable of handling the communication and security problem. Despite the increased complexity and the difficulty of building a distributed computing system, the installation and the use of distributed computing systems are rapidly increasing. Because the advantages of the DCS outweigh their disadvantages. The major advantages that have led to emergence and popularity of the distributed computing systems are as follows. Inherently distributed applications. Second, information sharing among the distributed users. Third, resource sharing. Fourth, better price performance ratio. Fifth, shorter response time and higher throughput. Sixth, higher reliability. Seventh, extensibility and incremental growth. Eighth, better flexibility in meeting the user's needs. Let's discuss them in detail. First, inherently distributed applications. Several applications are inherently distributed in nature and require the distributed computing system for their realization. These applications might have distributed locations for controlling, processing and accessing data resulting in need of distributed computing system. For example, a computerized worldwide airline reservation system a computerized banking system in which a customer can deposit or withdraw the money from his or her account from any branch of the bank and factory automation system controlling robots and machines. Second, information sharing among the distributor users. It provides an efficient person-to-person -person communication facility by sharing the information over the grid distances. In a distributed computing systems, information generated by one of the users can be easily shared by other users for many ways. For example, a project can be performed by two or more users who are geographically far from each other. So, in this case, user's computer must be a part of the same distributed computing system so they can transfer the files of the project, log onto each other's remote computers to run the program and exchange the messages by email. The use of distributed computing system by a group of users to work cooperatively is known as a computer supported cooperative working or groupware. Third, resource sharing. Not only the information but also sharing of software resources such as software libraries and databases as well as hardware resources such as printers, hard disks and plotters can also be done in very efficient way among all the computers and the users of a single distributed computing system. For example, a printer which is placed on network can be used by anyone present on the network node. If the multiple node tries to use or access a common printer, they will be places in queue and the printing job is done. A resource manager is a software module that manages a resource of a particular type. Resource manager controls access, offer a scheme for naming 
and controls concurrency. Fourth, better price performance ratio. This is one of the most important reason for growing popularity as the increased power and reduced microprocessor price is combined with the fast communication network that provide the better price performance ratio. For example, DCS based on processor pool model. In a processor pool model, there are small number of CPUs can be effectively used by a large number of users which gives a higher price performance ratio. Resource sharing is allowed in distributed computing system which makes it cost effective than centralized system as discussed before. Fifth, shorter response time and higher throughput. So, the response time is the total amount of time it takes to respond to a request for service. Throughput is the amount of work completed in a unit of time. Multiplicity of processors enable distributed computing system to have better performance. Suppose there are two programs to be run. So two processors are evidently more powerful than one because programs can be simultaneously run on different processor. We also can achieve the better performance by distributing the <coughs> load among the multiple processors. For example, workstation model where the users have multiple processors that run simultaneously and interact with each other. Sixth, higher reliability. Reliability refers to the degree of tolerance against errors and component failures in a system. A reliable system prevents loss of information even in the event of component failure. The multiplicity of storage devices and processors in a distributed computing system allows the maintenance of a multiple copies of information which still provide the data if one site is down. So, if one of the processor fails, the computation can be successfully completed at the other processor. And if one of the storage device fails, information can still be used from other storage device. Availability refers to the fraction of time for which a system is available for use. And availability is one of the most important aspects of the reliability. For example, if workstation based on workstation server model fails, only the user of that workstation is affected and other users are not affected by this failure. Seventh, extensibility and incremental growth. It is possible to extend the power and functionality of a distributed computing system by adding the additional resources to the system. For example, additional processor easily added to handle increased workload of any organization. Extensibility is also easier because addition of the resources can be done without disruption of the normal functioning of the system. Distributed computing systems that have the property of extensibility and incremental growth are called open distributed systems. Last, better flexibility in meeting the user's needs. Different types of computers are more suitable for performing the different types of computations. A distributed computing systems may have a pool of different types of computers from which the most appropriate one can be selected for processing a user's job depending on the nature of job. For example, DCS based on hybrid model. Thank you.